Hello and welcome to War Blog. Today we're looking at the Chadian Civil War, 77 to 78. Um, there were quite a few Chad Civil Wars. Um, this is sort of the one that I pulled out the hat. Um, this all starts in about the summer of 77 and ends in the August 78. And one of the interesting things about this is that they do sort of get down here, I think they start to siege wherever this place is, the capital. Um, but what ends it is the assassination of the president. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what, what it does. Um, it's all a bit complicated, and I might be wrong. Um, but essentially, uh, well, there, there was an earlier um, civil war in 62, went on to about 75, and then they... Um, where they, they, they basically, that ended when they overthrew President um, Tom Bal Bay. Uh, he was replaced by Mamun, who, he basically was a southerner, but he had ties with the North, which is ideal because it's basically a North-South sort of civil war type of scenario. Um, and they replaced him, but by the summer of 1977, there was basically another civil war. And some people, well, I don't want to really say why, because I don't really know, but I mean, Wikipedia sort of says that he was he wasn't, he, he was particularly treating northerners sort of badly, but he had a suspicion that basically Libya was fund, funding rebels uh, and basically, you know, instigating a civil war by, you know, just basically funding a civil war. And so it might not be necessarily what he did, but I don't want to be quoted on that, it's just a sort of vague idea. Um, but then basically in um, 77, um, when they sort of the troops finally get down, he was assassinated and then he was replaced. Um, and basically, that, that went. Um, then the, the civil war sort of shortly after that sort of began again from 78 to 82, which is, sounds like a long time, it's only about four years. So 72 seems like prehistoric and 82 seems like fairly modern, but yeah, you can see that the five years big difference. Um, I have not really got to grips with what happened in between, but there was another civil war in 80, between 82 um, and 2005. No, no, so sorry, there was another war between 2005 and 2010. So what happened between 82 and 2005, I'm not entirely sure about. Um, yeah, so 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 basically, um, Libya was doing all the funding. Um, here I've got a bunch of newspaper articles. They're not actually in order, which is a bit of a shame, but um, I've got the articles, but even the headlines, I, where, where it's sort of, there's no sort of interesting headline, I haven't actually included them, there's, there's probably a, twice the number of, of articles, which is just things like news in Greece. So. But, um, you, you know, you can see here, former rebel chief to head new chat government, well that was August 78, so that's when it ends, that's after the assassination. Um, I don't think there's actually a headline, assassination. Um, you know, but French planes shot down. Um, basically, one of the problems was well, historically the rebels really didn't have anything, but as soon as Libya started funding them, they had all these sort of surface to air missiles and shoot down French airplanes. Um, I'm not going to do more than a 15 minute video because I'm really pushed for time, so I'm just going to start playing it. Um, but basically, and as you can almost imagine, the whole point is to sort of for the rebels to spread south. Um, and bearing in mind, you know, if you remember, the um, Civil War wasn't sort of one militarily, it was, it was well, I mean, well, sort of a part of it, but it ended when the president was, who, who had his seat in, in the capital there, Njamena, um, I don't know how you actually pronounce that. Um, when he was assassinated, so it's sort of, it, I, th I think that's quite interesting, but no, you know, it's not necessarily a military victory, but I've no idea really how this should pan out. Now that could be a three to one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five,
61, the offender eliminated. This, this is, I think, I, I'm not going to make a head around this one. I'm not trying to I'm not speak too loud because it's quite late. And, uh, and a bunch of other things that I'm closing. But I think the, the thing that appealed to me about this game, other than um, I like the colours, is that. The units are actually quite small. You know, if you cross your mind back on, especially some of the other games, you know, there's always a sort of big thing about big units. And I, I like small games. This is, uh, I say, a big game. I don't like the scrolling up and down. But, um, you know, I don't know. Hmm. I opted for that. But the thing is, it's lots of little small units. But I think, I mean, this is. To some extent, what I was battling with was how significant will these units be? Because they they only have a slight advantage. But the thing is, because they're coming in in concentrated force here against the um, Chadian army, they're going to be able to pick them up piecemeal. Because all but all their troops are down here, so you know they really do outnumber these units. So I'm going to try my luck here. I'll, I'll, Following on from the success of that operation. Now, quite a lot of newspaper reports. Oh, I roll it to. Quite a lot of the news newspaper reports, actually, I think they talk about how Zoo, um, basically, Libya is, was actually holding. Some, I think it's always all right, absolutely to look it up. Um, but, but basically, there, there is a sort of a separate campaign, not so much campaign, military situation, basically, you know, called the Libya Chad conflict. And it's pretty much exactly at the same time. And a lot of the articles, I think, are sort of, are sort of a lot of news, newspaper reports, I think, are a little sort of contradictory, and I'm not sure that anyone really knew what was happening. And some of the reports coming out were sort of false, and these, I think it's maybe these rebel troops were being confused with Libyan troops. But there's actually, and it, it goes back to sort of like 1930s, when there was an, an agreement that Libya would own this, not so much this town, but this sort of area, and there's a particular area up here. I believe. It's in Wikipedia, so, you know, it's not hard to find. Um, but they really, they, they do take this. Uh, use it as a base of operations uh, as well as a few other things. I mean I think it'd be a wanted to keep it for himself. So we have managed to take out two units. Um, I imagine that the um, the the, the, the full that force will steamroll over everything. Um, and that's one of the reasons I'm not really trying to get into it early because I might put in a few more heavy units just to give it a bit more balance. Um, but they are small units, so it's possible that you know, if we start falling back and advancing north, we can you know create a line. And historically, there was a line across here. They did actually create a line, and there was a ceasefire. Um, but the rebels um, basically ignored the ceasefire. Now I might be dreaming on that. But I'm pretty sure it was, and it was sort of along here. There was a ceasefire line, and then they basically. Um, Last of the day, you know, and the ceasefires were. And um, so there was a natural sort of border zone, but I think part of, a lot of the combat basically took place with trying to get this, trying to take the capital. And if you actually look at the capital, I mean, obviously, once it's actually a, it's fortified. So you don't need a lot in there. I mean, there's what's that? Four that's doubled, that's trebled up into 12. In fortifications, that's going to be 36. You know, they're going to struggle to take the capital, and I think that's what I, why I did that. Um, so it's, it's going to be sort of interesting. So we've got a movement here, we should be able to move it. 
think moving into desert for the troops is like 1.2, which means it's going to take a, a hell of a lot of time to get down there. In fact, none of these troops can move now because they've, they've been engaged in combat. So now, I don't like to do this, but oh no, we've got some. Basically, we've got some French French units, and we do actually have French reinforcements later on. What other guns will say there? I think the French reinforcements start coming on turn 10. Well, if you consider the movement rates 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is about there, they're not actually going to get to the capital, you know, even if they had the ability to go in a straight line. So, so that's quite interesting. Um, so, the, the, it's not all pretty straightforward for, for the foreign for forces because we've got the French Air Force here. Now, they do eventually bring on some um, Libyan um, sort of Australian missiles, and so I don't know how effective the AA, the air defense units that they get, will be. They're not specific. I do have plans to make specific rocket air defense and, and you know, automated you know, machine gun air defense and sort of differentiate between the two. Um, and obviously, the, you know, having two different roles. Um, but, you know, at the moment, the French, you know, historically had a bit of an advantage because they had the Air Force. Um, so we'll try this unit first and, you know, go for this one, why not? Such an interesting game, isn't it? Just as I thought that the problem that was too strong, if it carries on at that rate, we won't have any problem that to be strong. What a turn up. I wonder what I did. I didn't look at the die roll on that. It's going to just. 3 to 1, be home. We don't get the die roll, so that was probably just a good roll. Um, we're well, in depression three, so the, the aircraft is just going to pound these units. Um, but I am going to, you know, I was going to say saying earlier, what I just started to say, or at least I could think about saying, it, I don't like to retreat, but I, I think I'm, I think I'm just going, I'm actually going to try and retreat south. So I can only move one hex at a time. That is going to be straight and I'm going to try and just somehow create a defensive line. I'm not going to move the units out of the capital because I don't, I don't want to try my, uh, I don't want to chance that. Sort of communicated the main essence of, um, of what this game is all about. Um, I think it's going to be definitely a lot of fun. Um, I mean, when I say fun, I mean it, 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 this, I think there's going to be a distinct challenge to um, to how much you can do with the format forces. Um, Now, only 30 seconds to go, so I'm not even going to bother with that tag. But one of the things that, sort of, that, that I did, did sort of cross my mind, but sort of contemplated, the advance is going to be slow if you sort of sit, take the time to actually take these towns out. So it could be quite a long game just because you've got to at least sit there for quite a while capturing these places. Anyway, so that's that. I'm definitely not going to be doing another one quickly, so you know, if this appeals to you, you can have a blast on yourself and sign up, and um, I'll maybe speak to you later.